Hey, what's up guys? This is Tony and today we're gonna be talking, of course, about jailbreaking. Now, I wanted to initially bring up iOS 12 and more specifically iOS 12.1.1. Now, I honestly thought we might actually see this firmware be released to the public today. Currently, it's still in beta stages, beta three to be specific. Beta three was actually released about two weeks ago and this entire firmware has been in beta stages now for over a month. I believe it went into beta stages on October 31st. So it's a pretty minor update, not too many changes, a couple new features within FaceTime. Uh, it looks like the app has been reworked a little bit. Um, a couple new features for iPhone XR users, new haptic feedback options. Um, and with watchOS 5.1.2, users will be able to finally take advantage of the ECG readings with the Apple Watch. Anyway, not too many new changes and new features. It's not a substantial update from iOS 12.1, and I'm really surprised it's been in beta stages this long. It sounds like a couple things might need to be worked out with the ECG feature with different carriers and things like that, and that might be one reason why it's delayed. But honestly, after two weeks between betas, I was really expecting Apple to release this this morning. In any case, if you guys are looking to jailbreak in the near future, definitely disregard any information about this update do not update to it. Do not even update to iOS 12.1. You really want to stay on the lowest firmware, lowest version possible of iOS 12, basically, if you guys want to jailbreak in the near future. Now, as far as jailbreaking goes, I really wanted to talk about some interesting news that came up over this last weekend. Now, if you guys missed out, I did a jailbreak update on Friday evening talking about Uncover version 2.0. It's still in beta stages. It looks like another 2.0.1 release was updated over this last weekend, but it's Essentially, the gist is initial Cydia Substrate support is going to be coming to the Uncovered Jailbreak, and Cydia Substrate is going to be updated directly by the creator of Cydia being Sork himself. So this is just incredible news that official Cydia support is going to be coming to an iOS 11 jailbreak in the very near future. This is going to be the first time that Cydia will officially be updated by its creator for iOS 11. And this is just awesome news because if this is updated for iOS 11, I'm guessing if the same developer Pwn to Own updates his utility for iOS 12 when we receive the appropriate exploits, then hopefully Cydia Substrate will also be updated by JFree as well, or Sorik, and we'll get official Cydia support on an iOS 12 jailbreak. In any case, it's great to see that Sorik is back in the action himself, updating the third-party app store. Now, speaking of third-party app stores, everyone knows Cydia. That's what everyone has come to know and love with the history of jailbreaking. Well, if you guys remember, Coolstar was also working on an alternative to Cydia, Celio, or Cilio. We actually have an update on this from this developer right here. This is the guy who actually designs the utility. Somebody was asking, hey, is there any updates? And we actually got a reply saying Cilio is almost ready. Our developers just need to sort out a few things. Anyway, I know this is getting a bit ridiculous that a year later this still has yet to be released, but still more information persists that's still being worked on in the background. <laughs> really, the most interesting thing to me now is, is Cilio or is Cilio? Cydia Substrate going to be updated first for iOS 11. Now these both are pertaining to iOS 11 jailbreaks, the same one for iOS 11 to 11.4, beta 3. In any case, like I said about this release, if Cilio or Cilio is being updated for iOS 11, once we have the appropriate exploits and once we have a jailbreak utility out for iOS 12, hopefully all of these stages will be completed and we might actually either get Cydia Substrate with Cydia or Cilio in a ready-to-go state for an iOS 12 jailbreak. In any case, I thought that was super awesome that both are being updated here relatively soon, and hopefully we will be receiving an iOS 12 jailbreak to go along with these updates here in the next couple of months. Now, as far as an iOS 12 jailbreak, really, it's impossible to give any sort of ETA. There's a bunch of developers working in the background. First up that comes to mind is Yu Ming working on his exploits. He actually gave a jailbreak demo. Um, really haven't heard anything from him since he released this. He really doesn't even know if he's going to release anything now, but potentially he might still be in the background working on his research and potentially working on a write-up for other developers to use. 
Uh, next up, we have, sorry, my bad. I just recently did a video on this right here. His team recently achieved TPF zero on iOS 12.1 on the iPhone 10s Max. So that's just incredible. We are so close to an iOS 12 jailbreak if this is ever released. And again, this developer might actually be releasing his research. He says, stay on iOS 12.1. I've recommended my viewers to either stay on iOS 12.0.1 or just the earliest version of iOS 12. Really, like I said, nothing has been released. It's impossible to really recommend a firmware to stay on and that's concrete. We know that's going to be getting a jailbreak until something is released. And uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now. I know it's pretty much a little bit of a lull right now. There isn't much going on in the jailbreaking community aside from just minor updates like this, um, potential things that could be released. Um, but a lot of stuff is going on in the background. We have potential exploits for iOS 12, multiple jailbreak demos from Keen Lab and other developers that might actually release something. We have updates that, uh, you know, current jailbreaks for iOS 11 are currently being updated in the background as well. So a lot of stuff is going on. Unfortunately, just nothing has been released yet. And even Apple is sluggish on this releasing iOS 12.1.1. I really thought that was coming today but it apparently is not. In any case, guys, I will be sure to keep you updated if anything happens regarding an iOS 12 jailbreak utility, updates to Uncover or Electra, and anything iOS 12 Apple jailbreaking related. I know there's a lot going on in this video and uh, it really wasn't too substantial, but in any case, I just want to give you guys an update uh, about what's going on with iOS 12.1.1 and uh, some of the latest updates pertaining to Cilio and Cydia Substrate. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it helped out, you know what to do. Definitely subscribe, give this video a huge thumbs up, and check out Best Tech Info. Bookmark that page if you have yet to. Um, thank you again for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.